Today I'd like to share a Bible study with you, proving that born-again, saved Christians are not judged by the law. They're not under the law. In this dispensation of grace, or the church age, we are free from the law by our faith in Jesus Christ. I am going to share with you Bible verses which clearly support not being under the law or not being judged by the law. As always, all Bible verses will come from the King James Bible. Please note, all Bible verses in red are the words spoken by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Note, the Bible is written for everyone to read, but not all parts of the Bible are written towards you. There are different dispensations in the Bible. There is the Old Testament and the New Testament. There is the age of the law of Moses. And there is the church age or age of grace. This is directly related to the scripture written in 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Please take a moment to subscribe to this channel. Check out our other Bible study videos where we follow a subject from the beginning of the Bible to the end of the Bible. Also, take a moment to like and share videos as well as comment. Thank you. Let's get started. You may be asking yourself, what is the law? The law is the Ten Commandments that were given to Moses by God. I want to share with you Hebrews 9.27 And it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. We will all stand before God and be judged. I'm going to read some Bible verses now that support this statement that we are not under the law. First is John 1, 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Next, from John 15:12, Note, these are Jesus' own words. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Romans 6.14 For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Romans 7.6 But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. Romans 10.4 For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Next, from 2 Corinthians 3, 6 and 7 Who also made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. But if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. From Galatians 5.18 But if ye are led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. The last verse that I have to share with you today is from Colossians 2.14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. If you're watching this video 
And you are not born again? You are not saved? On Judgment Day, you will be judged by the law, by Moses' Ten Commandments given to him by God. And if you have sinned once in your life, you will go to hell. The payment for sin is death. From Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you for watching this video. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. If you or someone you know is not saved, meaning you don't know if you're going to heaven when you die, you must watch the video titled, What If You Died Today? Will You Go to Heaven or Hell? You can find the link to the video in the description box below. Thank you.